What is up guys, it's I, Jane Pip here. I'm just gonna bring a quick video to uh, discuss about the fact that something about my channel. You may have noticed that there's been a lack of the amount of videos you've been noticing uh, compared to 2022 and 2023 where I've made like loads of videos uh, like back in like January and February and all that in both of those years but you know it's now in 2024 yes this good old leap year there's been quite a lack of the amount like I'm not saying I've not made any I definitely have there's definitely been a, quite a few but you notice there hasn't been so many compared to recent compared to the ones last year and the year before and one of the main reasons is, is because, um, it's because the few things, like, the biggest one is that I only make videos when no one's in the house. Yeah, when it's just me all by myself, so. And, and if you could tell by that, a lot of the times, my mother won't leave the house. She will just won't leave me alone, for some reason, I don't know why. So... <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, not just that, but also, uh, but also because, uh, sometimes I can't really think what to play, to be honest, uh, because now I am up to a point where I cannot think what to do, so we'll get onto that later a bit, but, uh, but yeah, there's been a lack of the amount, of, like, there hasn't been a lack of videos, but there's been a lack of the amount of videos, so not, so there isn't, like, uh, 20 videos in a month now or something there's only like five or something i don't know uh, i can't be bothered to count but in total as of this video uh there has been 37 normal videos that i made this year they're the normal videos so they're my let's plays the rating versus rating videos uh just some random videos and the april fools video that's all of that and then five shorts, which are the shorts, you, you know, as I've made more shorts this year than uh, last year. And the, the recent one being on 29th of February, so yeah, Leap Day. So in total, that brings 42 videos I've made this year. Compared to like 2022 and 2023, there's been like more than 42. There's probably been like 60. Uh, uh, like, as of April or something, I don't know, well, not this, but you, you get what I mean. Um, but yeah, and one of the main reasons is because my mother just won't leave the house, she won't leave me alone. <laughs> like, she's not harassing me or anything, why, why, why on earth would she do that? But, uh, she's my mother, so. Uh, yeah, um, and, um, ugh, I can't think what to say. Okay, so now we'll go on to the topic of uh, uh, what would be for the future for this channel. So, obviously, I'm still going to make videos. Yes, I'm still going to do Let's Plays and all that. But there might not be as much earlier this year. There might be more later this year, but I uh, can't tell, really. But Because right now, I'm struggling to think what to do, because... You'll notice my recent Let's Play Jetpack has just been a simple one. Uh, which was in the Rare Replay collection. Uh, uh, and I decided to do it because I couldn't think of anything else to do, and that was like one of the easiest and shortest games I could think of. Uh, it's also the easiest game on Rare Replay, I should say. But <laughs> still. Um, uh, and, yeah, and then before that, my recent uh, Sonic games were both Sonic the Hedgehog Chaos and Sonic the Hedgehog Triple Trouble, which were both on 23rd and 24th of March. So, notice, like, a lack of videos between those two days and 7th of April, which was when the Jetpack video came out. Aside from the April Fool's video on April 1st, of course. But I'm not going to count that regarding that, because that's obvious. But uh, So, and the, oh, the whole reason I think of short games sometimes is because they're just simple and easy. And obviously... I'm like, oh, great, I've got to make a video quick before my mother gets back. Oh, no, I don't know how much time I've got. So that's why uh, I think of these short games. So then 
at least I'm getting them done, so uh, that's the whole reason there. And it's also the reason that sometimes I wake up, like, afternoon, it depends, I sometimes stay up overnight, which I know I really shouldn't, but... And, um... And it kind of affects, like, the fact that the time I wake up and that, and um, I just have dinner the moment I wake up, well, like, I shower first, and then I have my dinner. Like, oftentimes when I have dinner, and my mother's in the house, I often watch a film or something. Because uh, I'm just going to get films done and such. Uh, however, since when my mother's not in the house, uh, I often just watch random videos on YouTube while eating, and then I get straight to recording plans and all that. But right now, I can't really think what to do. Um, like, if I can think of something, like, obviously I do have some games in mind, but they're quite long, so... Yeah, one of those would be Super Mario 64 DS, uh, which I am planning to do this year. Uh, mainly because it, it uh, cause the the DS version of Super Mario 64 Super Mario 64 DS turns 20 years old this year because it came out back in 2004. So yeah, not just that. Uh, well, not just that game, but many other games. I'm also planning on other games to celebrate their years. Um, so the uh, so it's a good thing I've done Sonic 3 this year, because uh, that came out in 94, and uh, and that, that turned 30 years old on 2nd of February on Groundhog Day for you Americans and Canadians, which I know nothing about that day. So, <laughs> uh, so pretty much trying to celebrate their anniversaries, basically, even if some games are never going to have one, but still... Um, but uh, it's just how it is for me. I just try to celebrate their anniversaries. Uh, so that's why I consider what games came out each year. And uh, I don't do it all the time. Uh, I don't do it every time. So uh, I think the first time I've ever done something like this was uh, uh, was that I thought myself was for New Super Mario Bros. 2 back in, uh, which came out in 2012. Uh, and I did that in 2022 because it turned 10 years old on 29th of July in Japan. So there you go. So that's that's one anniversary I thought of, along with uh, New Super Mario Bros. U uh, and kind of Luigi U, even though that was a year later. But so not for my recording series, but for the actual when the game released. No, but still, you get my idea. I prefer having anniversaries for different games. So. Uh, it's like with movies when they when some old movies get re-released in cinemas often uh, because they they were very popular and um, and all that so they often get re-released for a short time and I think this year um, it's probably going to be a couple from probably 74 84 94 maybe 2004 but also the, the, there was some from like the, there's probably going to be some from like 79, 89, 99, maybe 2009, I don't know, but, but yeah, um, you often have those anniversaries, uh, so something zero anniversary or something fifth anniversary, something like that. I do, I, I try to do similar with, with games as well, so there you go. Um, so that's why I thought of doing Super Mario 64 DS this year, because it turns 20 this year. Uh, I don't know any other games that came out in 2004 that I've played before. I can't remember. I can't be bothered to say. In fact, no. Aside from uh, Pikmin 2, which I do re I do plan on playing Pikmin 1 and 2 again. But uh, I still don't have the Switch versions as of this video yet. I'm still trying to get them. Uh, well, I'm trying to get the HD, 1 plus 2 HD, which is both games in one. But still, I'm still trying to get them on the Switch. Uh, so then I can get prepped for Pikmin 3, because I've still not done a Let's Play of that, and I've definitely played that before. Um, well, I first played it in 2016, but the game came out in 2013. Uh, and I had a lot of fun with that when I when I first played that. I've not really played Pikmin 4, though, too much. Uh, I've only played that first bit of it, and then <laughs> gave up a bit. I still need to play through Pikmin 4, though, myself. But you can see, so yeah... Uh, so Pikmin, 4, Pikmin 2 would turn 20 years old this year. Uh, any other games in 2004? I don't know. Uh, 
from the ones I played. Uh, I think there are maybe a couple of Game Boy Advance uh, stuff, but I don't know. But yeah, I, I just like having anniversaries for different games. Uh, it's a really common thing with games. Uh, it's why sometimes they get re-released. They get re-released the amount of years after they were originally released. So, uh, not just through compilations, but also just in a standalone form. Uh, and like I said, it's the same with movies. They get re-released in cinemas quite often, even though everyone just watches them on physical, either physical media or streaming, but more likely the latter now, but still. Um, so yeah, uh, if, if, if there's not a lot of videos this year, I'm sorry, it's just how it's going to be. Like, I'm going to try and make more videos this year, but uh, it's not my fault, to be fair. It's just because my mother just won't leave the house. <laughs> and um, and I have other things to do as well. Um, so, yeah, like, the, believe it or not, the first half of this April of this year, I've literally been at Cineworld about over five times, I should say. Uh, maybe exactly five times. I, I, uh, I can't remember, but I can't be bothered to count. But yeah, I've been in a lot uh, so far. I've watched a lot of movies. And if you want to know, I'm not going to tell you this video. That, that That's going to be something for like probably the end of this year. So, but I'll just say it's a couple of old ones being re-released and then a lot more new ones. So yeah, uh, some of them you, you might know already through the posts and all that, but... And some people like the Fox Critic would know already. If you don't know who he is, just check his channel out. He does he does great videos about the BBFC. He literally does. So yeah, um, so yeah. If there's not a lot of videos, uh, my apologies there. It's just because my mother just won't leave the fucking house. So <laughs> she won't leave me alone at all. <laughs> and yeah, and it's not my fault either. I just I have to I have to still live with her for for things, uh, like, yes, I know I'm old enough for things to, like, live by myself and all that, but I'm still not capable of doing that, to be fair, like, uh, well, I, I think I am, but I mean, like, with the whole, like, the fact that you have to pay for house rent and all that, the house tax, uh, I don't really know tax stuff too much, um, I really need to learn that, but, but yeah, things like that, I still have to live with my mother, unfortunately, yeah. It's just life, unfortunately. Uh, and it's just to save money, basically. So, yeah. And, in fact, another thing I like to mention about the fact that uh, I can't be uh, thinking about what games to do is because, you notice most video, most games I've done this year have been Sonic. Uh, and, uh... And if you've, if you've seen my recent posts and uh, all that, it doesn't mean I've gave up Sonic. It just means I'm, I'm just trying to skip. I'm just trying to stop playing Sonic for now, and then get. Uh, that is basically true. So because I've done a lot of Sonic this year, there's there's no need to do too much uh, uh, every now and then. So uh, that's why I keep thinking of something different. Uh, that's not just Sonic because obviously, if I did a lot, of this, then. Uh, you would you just get bored very quickly to be honest um it's like in 2022 um uh you notice my very the first videos of 2022 were mostly mega man games and the only reason i have done i have done more mega man games in a row was because i just wanted to finish the games off i just wanted to finish the whole most of the series in which i have so i've still got some mega man games i need to do uh, maybe this year, I don't know, but but still, who cares? At least I've got uh, all of the uh, classic, most of the classic Mega Man series done. I've still not done Mega Man Eleven, uh, but I've got most of them done, one through ten, including ba uh, Mega Man and Base. I've got all the Mega Man X games done, the main series uh, X One through X Eight. Uh, I've still not done like the spin-offs like Command Mission or anything. And then I've got all my personal favorite ones, the Mega Man Zero series. I've got all them done. Uh, 1 through 4, and ZX and ZX Advent, I've got all them done as well, so, uh, that's the only reason I've done those games in a row, because I just wanted to get them done, 
And then, then again, I wasn't really bored because I was more used to Mega Man than most other games. Because I, I actually, I, I really like Mega Man. It, it, it's one of my favorite series. But yeah, that's the main reason. And and obviously, with twenty twenty two, it's not just well, not just Mega Man, but I'd say I've done more Mega Man games that year than any other game. Uh, even though there were just one video each, for the most part, aside from Mega Man 10, X7, and X8, and ZX and ZX Adamant, they had more than one video, and that's due to the fact that with Mega Man 10, uh, I, I was just struggling with hard mode, because I was on hard mode, and with X7 and X8, they were just too long, so I just decided to have two videos for each of those, and with ZX and ZX Advent, I have four videos, it's like two videos for one character each that you play as. So, yeah. And that was the whole reason I've done a lot of Mega Man games. Then, then again, I was also, also, surprisingly, I was also celebrating, uh, apparently, secretly celebrating the um, the 35th anniversary of Mega Man when Mega, the first Mega Man came out in 1987 in Japan and North America uh, for the Famicom and NES. So, I, and I actually didn't realise that until, like, later. Uh, so I, I didn't realize I was actually celebrating that sort of this kind of celebrating their anniversary not too much but but yeah I, I think that could be another reason who knows but then later in 2022 you notice there's been more Kirby games and that's mainly because I was celebrating that franchise's 30th anniversary because the original Kirby's Dreamland came out in 1992 so uh, I was it, it, it turned 30 years old that time so. That's also why, and and the whole reason I've done more Kirby games is because obviously I just wanted to get them done as well. And I've got, I've pretty much got all of the old ones done. Well, aside from like a few like Satellaview exclusive ones, which are Japan only, but I don't know how I'm going to get those to work. But I've pretty much got all of the old ones done, including spin-offs. So the only Kirby games I need to focus on now are the new ones, the newer ones of... Uh, so after Kirby 64, I should say. So in the 2000s and the 2010s and the 2020s. They're the only ones I need to do now. So, yeah. Well, I have done some in the like the 2010s and all that. The Return to Dreamland and the Dream Collection. But they don't count. They're just like main series. So, because I just wanted to get them all. The, the ones before the, the Dream Collection on the way. Uh, I just wanted to get the main series of that done. So, yeah. And I didn't get bored there as well, because obviously I just wanted to get Kirby done. So I just wanted to get some of them done. So that's the whole reason. I didn't I didn't really have the same feelings when I did the Sonic games this year, though. So while I was more hyped when I did Sonic 1, Sonic 2, Sonic CD, and Sonic 3, and Sonic and & Knuckles, not so much with the Game Gear Sonic games, uh, because, well... Well, then again, uh, the Game Gear games, because uh, the Game Gear games, uh, then well, they are they they are good, but they're not as good as the Genesis and Mega Drive games. Like I'd say, the ones I the one the Sonic games I enjoy more are Sonic Three and Knuckles, and I'd say the recent ones, uh, Sonic Spinball was quite difficult, but I still enjoyed doing that, and Sonic 3D Blast or Sonic 3D for Licky's Island that I also enjoyed doing that. Uh, and the whole reason that video came out on 29th of February was because that game came out in 1996, which was also a leap year. So, uh, so th 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 don't ask why. I, uh, I'm i trying to release uh, games that came out on leap year on 29th of February, but still. Um, and I kind of enjoyed Sonic the Fighters as well. I've played that through Xbox Live Arcade, so 360 version, played on an Xbox One. <sighs> But then when I got to the Game Gear ones, I was like, not so hyped. Like, with Sonic 1 and Sonic 2, they were quite good. And then Sonic Chaos and, Sonic Chaos and Sonic Triple Trouble are good games. But uh, I kind of got bored of playing them, sort of. So that's why I decided to kind of quit Sonic for a bit. Like, I, 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 I don't mean, like, quit Sonic entirely. I mean, uh, I'm not, I'm not, I don't hate the series at all. Uh, I just mean, like, take a break from Sonic for a bit and then come back to it, like, maybe later this year or maybe next year. I don't know. Or other years. Uh, uh, but I've, uh, at least for the Game Gear ones, I've only got, like, a couple of spin-offs to do. And obviously one mainline game, which is Sonic Blast. So, 
that's another reason I kind of took a break from Sonic for a while because um, it's just because of that. It, it's it's just the Game Gear games alone. So, but at least I've got uh, like at least I've got four Game Gear games done. So there's that. As for future videos, um, so the way I'm gonna co so the way I thought of combating this with uh, with the amount of videos is is just to make random videos, and I'm, and what I mean is um, not just so, some random shorts I could do, but also so you notice at the end of like 2023 and all that, like near the end of that, there's been a couple of Pokemon videos. Uh, just the complete Pokedex and all that, uh, which I've made using uh, either cheat codes or completed save files, which I've not done. Uh, that they've been done by other people. So, because uh, I just wanted to get like a really nice, because uh, I just because uh, because it's just basically me trying to get more views and all that. And obviously, some people just want to know what a po what Pokedexes look like in different versions of Pokemon games. Uh, I don't mean, like, English version or Japanese version or anything. I mean, like, uh, the difference between, like, the coloured versions or, you know, uh, the, you know what Pokemon games are like. So, uh, so, and you've also been noticing sometimes in 2023, there's also been, like, Mega Man Legacy Collection videos with no commentary as well. I've been thinking of doing more videos like that. Uh, well, not with Mega Man, but, like, with other games. Because uh, uh, I'm still, I've still got a few collection games that I need to do. That I'm thinking of doing, that are similar with those. So the Sonic Mega Co Sonic Mega Collection, I thought, of, and then obviously like Zelda L L Collector's Edition, and uh, the o uh, Ocarina of Time uh, Master Quest Bonus Disc with the trailers and that. I'll probably do every regional version because they have the Japanese version has way more trailers. You probably remember the video I made back in 2020, <laughs> which wasn't that good, but still. Uh, videos like that, basically, so, they might be boring for some of you, but, still, uh, and that's just, that's just because I'm trying to think of other games to do, but it could also be because, obviously, I'm, uh, because I've still got to do some GCSEs this year and such, so, uh, so, in order to make it so I get more revision, a bit more revision done, is, is to, well, not retire from YouTube, or partially retire, but, like, just stop making content for a bit, and then come back after, so, something like that as well, so, yeah, so then, at least I can get some videos released while I, while I do that stuff, so, that's another good reason, and so, that's what, uh, that's what I thought of doing, um, uh, now, for rating versus rating, they're gonna continue on as normal, uh, they they will still take long to make obviously because I still need to do more research on like the different rating systems and especially with the fact that I added TV shows uh, in the recent video as of this video which is, uh, is it, uh, what what episode was it I, I can't be bothered to fifty five uh, ah so with episode fifty five I've added t television shows though I've not added that many in that one but still it's gonna take a lot of research to do uh, to be fair. Uh, uh, with the amount, with the seasons, the series, and all that, the fact that there's a lot, and uh, and sometimes they are rated differently. Sometimes they're equivalents, so it's going to be a bit difficult. But but I'm still going to try and get that task done. So yeah, so rating versus rating video is no problem at all because I can just make them uh, regardless if my mother's in the house or not. It's only videos, like, where I'm actually commentating, where uh, I'm required her to fuck out the house. So, <laughs> um, you see there, so. So, maybe I could do a big game like Super Mario 64 DS this, this month. But have, oh, hold on, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back, my apologies there. My mother just got back, so. Yeah, and I closed both doors so she do not hear me. But, but yeah, as I was going to say, I could do a big game like Super Mario 64 DS uh, this month, but but release those videos after this month, maybe sometime in May or something, maybe something like that. I don't know if I'll do 64 DS, but I'll decide myself. But, but if I do, then I won't release them until 
like I finished the very last video of it, so like the main the, the bonus videos don't really count too much. But let's say me doing like the actual game, for example, I cannot uh, release those, uh, upload them to YouTube until I finish all of them. That's that's how I do it. Compared to other people, like other YouTubers, they just make one video and then they upload it straight away. I don't do that, to be honest. I, I could edit them during it, but not upload them to YouTube until I finish them all. It's in case of things like, oh yeah, if I die or something, not that that's going to happen right now, but I mean, <laughs> still. Or things like that, so, yeah. Uh, so, and plus it's just better that way. Because it means when another when a set of videos are being released, it also means I get to uh, do other long games and hopefully finish them, uh, and then do more games, etc., etc. Because one time I've also thought, now I don't know if this is ever going to happen, but one time I've thought of bringing friends onto this channel, and we could do like multiplayer games like Mario Party and all that. Yes, you can play them single player, but it's obviously best with multiplayer, so games like that I thought of doing with other people as well. Uh, so kind of like the Runaway guys, you know, with Chugga Khan, Roy, Nintendo Capri Sun, Proton John, and usually another guest that they invite, a part of the Runaway guys. So uh, I've been thinking of think videos like that, to be honest, but they'll be uploaded to my normal Video Game Jam Poop channel. But still, I thought of making videos like that. It might not happen, but... And it depends who I, I have to bring on, I don't know, but we'll have to see. But um, but if, I, if, if those videos do come across one day, then the way that will work is that when, my friend, when, when, when a friend or more is here, we make those videos while they're there. And when they're on like other things to do, like they're out with other people or they're doing random things, I could do my normal Let's Play videos. So I'm technically doing both games at once. Kind of. In a way. So, yeah, that's what I thought of doing uh, one time. Uh, I don't know if it'll happen this year, but maybe in the future something like that will definitely happen. But, yeah, that's what I thought for uh, future Let's Plays, kind of. But, yeah, this month there might not be a new Let's Play this month. Maybe not. I don't know. Just because I can't think of what to do. I'm struggling to think. It's like a disorder I've got. I don't know. The other thing I would like to mention as well, guys, is the fact that... Uh, a couple of games I would have to do through streaming. Because, obviously... Because um, uh, they're quite long. Because I'm thinking of doing other RPGs as well. Mainly the Pokemon games uh, and all that. But I... I, I I've not thought of making videos of them, and just I just thought of making live streams of them. It's because they're quite long games uh, to finish uh, from beginning to end. Uh, they probably take a couple of days or so. But and with and with newer RPGs nowadays, they're often longer than they were than the older ones. They're often really long. They probably take like months to finish or something. Uh, even more to one hundred percent them, but. So, uh, so yeah, uh, franchises like Pokemon, and not just Pokemon, but also Mega Man Battle Network, that's another series. Even franchi even big franchises like Final Fantasy, those franchises, those games are quite long to finish. So, even the older ones. So, that's why I thought of live streaming them instead of just making videos of them. So, then I can have people in the chat help me where to go and such. Uh, uh, that it's only for the case with those games, though. Uh, for like platforming games, it's not really going to be the case. Or with games I've played before. That's why the Mario and Luigi RPG series were made with videos. Now pro it'll probably be the same with both Dream Team and Paper Jam. I've not played the latter, but uh, still, it'll probably just be videos for those. Uh, I don't know about Super Mario RPG, even though I've not played that, the original or the remake, but. That could be live streamed as well, but we'll have to find out. So long games like that will have to be live streamed on, if you guys are alright with that. So yeah, but with other games, 
they can just be done with videos it's fine and all that uh, I need to think what else to say alright guys I think I have uh, uh, covered everything in this video so I think I'm gonna leave it here guys so hope you understand all this update and um, I'm not quitting YouTube it just means there might not be many videos this month at least I, there, there might be more later this year but we'll see but I'm gonna leave it here guys and I'd like to thank you guys for watching see you guys next time bye